Hey y'all, I found a very simple recipe for a DIY leather cleaner since I have leather seats in my car. It seems like it could double up as a emergency salad dressing. Let's give it a shot. I have some lettuce and strawberries. We'll just um, let's see what it tastes like. Where's my fork? Vinegary smell. Need salt, but I think I'll do. But what I use in here is distilled white vinegar, and I like for healthy reasons. I like to use apple cider vinegar, the one with the Bragg's. Let's see. Mm. No. Nah. We'll just leave this to to clean leather, okay? Hey there guys, and in this video, I'm going to show you a quick DIY to clean and condition your leather in your car. Because as a driver, driving around, you have a lot of expenses, uh, and car maintenance is one of them. And if you can save some money on some homemade DIY cleaners, why not? Why not do that? I got this recipe from fabulouslyfrugal.com. I will leave it in the description bar below, but it's extremely simple and quick. To create this DIY cleaner, we're going to test it on my my leather seats. Okay, let's do this. Cheers. Outside of my car and this is my seat I don't know if you can see this is my driver's seat you can see it's perforated I'm gonna try it on these these front seats and see what happens and I'm I'm filming with my phone so we'll see how we can get this anyways we'll see the instructions is to spray it on leave it for five minutes and wipe it down oh, I don't know we'll do that so um, yeah here goes a balancing act so let's see yeah. Ooh. Shake it up first. Shake it up first. Oh my. Okay, no. Oh, I think I'm just like. I'm just gonna start wiping down. This might blow up in my face. <laughs> Use, but this is before okay this part is leather and I'm also going to use it to wipe down the dash so I'm gonna treat the hot the whole dash so you can see this is what the dash looks like right now before I treat it So it's about a couple of hours later, but I'm going to give you a close-up. I've been uh, wiping down the dashboard. Here's the door. It actually looks remarkably better. I don't know if um, the camera, my phone does it justice, but I'm going to just wipe this down a little bit more. But a little bit of elbow grease. It actually looks lovely. Yes, this DIY cleaner, it, it, it works a charm. You see here, I do this. You can see in a nice sheen. It's like a non-toxic. Yeah, and if I think it's moisturized my hands as well. It works. There you go. I'm just going to continue. If you see here, there's part of it that I missed, so I'm going to just take care of that. But you can see the nice sheen. 
a nice sheen on the t on the chair. I'm just going to continue cleaning. You can see here, even I even wiped down this part was like white with the oils from my my fingers, and I, I was able to clean that up. And you can see the steering wheel is all nice and shiny. So yeah, Charles. Hey guys, good morning. It's Friday, June. Anyway, and it's 6.52 a.m. I apologize for not uploading this video on Sunday. What happened was I did the DIY cleaner and I cleaned down my seats and then something happened and I didn't want to upload the video until I fixed it. What happened was as I was cleaning the seats, the front seats are okay, if you can see here. And they came out nice. The dashboard is beautiful. Everything is beautiful. Um, what had happened to the back seats is that the spray nozzle started to clog and so i would spray and these big splotches would come out on the seats in the back seats you know and i would wipe it down and everything but then the next day you would see like the oil stains and that freaked me out because you know you, you have passengers come into the car and especially if you have clients come into the car that just really not, does not look good so what i did was i looked it up uh, how to clean oil stains and it said use talcum powder but it requires putting talcum out powder on the spots and letting it stay overnight well anyway let's go to the back of my car and i'll show you what it seems that the problem resolved itself so there were spots here but you don't see them anymore they're done they're gone i kind of went over it again with the leather cleaner I'll go back here let me close the door because i don't want cars taking out my door but anyway, um, here are the back seats, and um, I wish I should—I could have taken a video of it, but it was just like I was getting ready for work and was getting ready to go out, and um, there were like splotches, like, you know, oil spots, but it looks like it really did fix itself. I'm so glad. Oh, my God. Now I'm looking at it. Oh, my God. Thank God. Yeah, they were like really like oil splotches, like when the spritzer clogs and these like little it would just like come out in big globs and so what i would say to you is that make sure that your spritzer spritzes like a very fine mist or spritz it onto your rag and then wipe down the the seats because that's what i did the second time around um i kind of freaked out because it doesn't look good when passengers come into your car and they see like splotches even though it was dry oil stained splotches on your seats so that's what i would suggest to do is that if it doesn't spray a fine mist, spray it onto your microfiber rag and wipe down and wipe down the seats. But it, it works. The DIY leather cleaner, it does actually work. I also cleaned these parts here and it makes it look like brand new. It covers up the scuffs, but it makes the chairs look, you know, brand new. And um, it's something that I would use over and over again.